In the POD literature, what is your understanding of the seven chakra nerve centers? Firstly, the seven chakras of the Vedic, Hindu, Buddhist tradition in the Orient do correspond to the five nerve plexuses along the spine, to the thalami and pineal gland inside the brain. The root chakra, called Muladhara, corresponds to what neuroanatomists today call the pair of coccygeal CO1 nerves. The sacral chakra, Svadhisthana, corresponds today to the five sacral nerve pairs. The navel chakra, Manipura, corresponds to the five lumbar nerve pairs. The heart chakra, Anahata, corresponds to the 12 thoracic nerve pairs. The throat chakra, Vishuddha, corresponds to the eight pairs of cervical nerves. The third eye chakra, the Ajna, corresponds to the left and right thalami located just posterior to the frontal lobes of the cerebrum. And the crown chakra, Sahasrara, corresponds to the paired pineal and pituitary glands located below the corpus callosum in the middle of the brain. Based on my own understanding, and thus included in my contribution to the POD material, these seven chakra nerve centers known of in the Orient correspond to the so-called seven classical planets of antiquity in the Occident as being like antennae that have evolved to tune into the microgravitational tides caused by our five local planets, moon, and sun. Just so, the root chakra, Muladhara, is attuned to the planet Saturn. The sacral chakra, Svadhisthana, is attuned to the planet Jupiter. The navel chakra, Manipura, is attuned to the planet Mars. The heart chakra, Anahata, is attuned to the sun. The throat chakra, Vishuddha, is attuned to the planet Venus. The third eye chakra, Ajna, is attuned to the planet Mercury. And the crown chakra, Sahasrara, is attuned to the Earth's moon. The order of the classical planets in this system derives from the Kamiya magic number squares of antiquity given by Henry Cornelius Agrippa in chapter 22, book 2 of his three-volume 1531 opus on occult philosophy. In this system, Saturn is associated with the smallest number square of three by three or nine cells with a magic number sum of 15. Jupiter is associated with the next larger square of four by four, or 16 cells, with a magic number equaling 34. The square of Mars is five by five, or 25 cells, and has a magic number sum of 65. The square of the sun is 6 by 6, or 36 cells, and has a magic number sum of 111. The square of Venus is 7 by 7, or 49 cells, with a magic sum of 175. The square of Mercury is 8 by 8, or 64 cells, and has a magic number sum of 260. And the square of the moon is 9 by 9 or 81 cells with a magic number sum of 369. 
just so a heptagon with each point labeled in this order by the scale of the associated Kamium magic number square corresponds to a heptagram with each stellation labeled in the order of the seven days of the week. Thus, the sun to Sunday, the moon to Monday, Mars to Saturday, Mercury to Wednesday, Jupiter to Thursday, Venus to Friday, and Saturn to Saturday. Taking the sigils, or signatures of the seven archangels given by Francis Barrett in his 1801 The Magus, and associating them with the seven days of the week as therein, we find that Michael rules Sunday, Gabriel rules Monday, Camiel rules Tuesday, Raphael rules Wednesday, Satchiel rules Thursday, Aniel rules Friday, and Cassiel rules Saturday. As attributed in Amulets and Talismans by E. A. Wallace Budge, the seven sigils given by Barrett for the Archangels can also be placed onto the camia or seals of the seven Olympic dignitaries such that the Olympic Eratron corresponds to Saturn, to the 3x3 three three magic number square, to Saturday, and to the Archangel Cassiel. The Olympic Bethor relates to Jupiter, the 4x4 four four square, the day Thursday, and Archangel Satchiel, Olympic Phaleg, to Mars, the five by five square, Tuesday in the week, and to the Archangel Camiel. Olympic Ock is equal to the Sun, the six by six square, Sunday, and Michael. The Olympic Hagith corresponds to Venus, to the 7 by 7 square, to Friday in the week, and thus to Archangel Aniel. Olympic Ophiel, to Mercury, the 8 by 8 square, to Wednesday, and to Archangel Raphael. And the Olympic dignitary Fool corresponds to the Moon, the 9 by 9 cell magic number square, to the day of the week Monday, and to the Archangel Gabriel. The POD material goes much further with these lines of research as well, corresponding these also to the eight kings in five cities of the antediluvian section of the Sumerian king list, but it seems like this should be sufficient to answer the question in brief. Okay.